What's going on folks, Nick Sanchez here and we're back at it again with another quick review. But before getting into the video, shout out to Roger Beasley Mazda located here in Austin for giving me a chance to use the vehicle. If you are in the market for a car and live in the Austin area, we got three convenient locations. One in South Austin, Central Austin and Georgetown. Alright, on to the review. Today we got a 2023 Mazda CX-5 2.5 turbo. Let me go ahead and read some of the specs here for you. It's going to come with a 2.5 four-cylinder turbo engine. Going to give you about 227 horsepower with 310 foot-pounds of torque. A towing capacity about 2,000 pounds. A curb weight of 4,828 and a 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds. Now I got this one in this beautiful sonic silver metallic with the black interior. So with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the walk right, around. Folks, like always in the walk around, let's go ahead and start from the rear. We do have CX-5 all wheel badging on the left hand side. On the right hand side, the Skyactiv G turbo badging. We got the rear windshield wiper. We got dual chrome exhaust tips. Let's go ahead and pan to the back. And as we walk around, the CX-5 is going to come with 19 inch blacked out alloy wheels and the beautiful thing about that is that lower valance and the side mirrors are blacked out as well tying this vehicle uh, together making it look really really slick on the road as we come out to the grill you will see a glossy black finish which is nice as well and then you do see these little red accents indicating that it is a uh, CX-5 with the turbo engine let's go ahead and uh, walk around the other side now I'm more of a fan of the sonic silver metallic I know a lot of people may not like silver in their uh, crossovers. I'm a fan myself. Uh, it just seems uh, very simple, very clean. And uh, overall, I think it's a nice silver. Before diving in onto the trunk, here's the key fob, lock unlock, electronic lift gate, the emergency button. Now Mazda does have this thing called My Mazda Connected Services, which is an app you download on your phone and you'll gain access to the remote start and other additional features. Let's go ahead and go into the trunk space. You have your electronic lift gate. And simple as that, you will have your spare right here. And you will have little levers on the left and right hand side. What these do is help ease the uh, access to the front seat by just doing that. And the seats do fold down 60-40 split for additional cargo area. Taking a peek into the passenger seat, Got this beautiful black leather accented with the nice red stitching provided by Mazda. Let's go ahead and back on up to get a clearer shot for you. Let's go ahead and take a seat. You do have the rear AC controllers here. Up above, you do have the pilot lights. And in the center area, if you pull it down, you'll gain access to the cup holders, heated seats for the passengers. And then this little area right here, you'll access the USB ports to charge your electronic devices. And of course, the overall shot of the front seat, center console, and infotainment center. Hopping to the driver's side, you do have a touch keyless entry system here. When you open the door, you do have the controllers to your windows. And if you pan down below, Bose Audio. On the driver's seat, you do have your memory seats with the power seats and lumbar support. And on the left hand side, there's your pedals. And up above the key to the electronic or the button to electronic lift gate and lane keep assist. Let's go ahead and take a seat behind the steering wheel. Okay, let's go ahead and go over some of the features on the steering wheel. You have Bluetooth, audio controls, and info to uh, change the different displays in the center gauges, which I'll show you. Smart City uh, cruise control right here. You'll have your paddle shifters right there. And here's the gauge. When you click info on the steering wheel, you'll access a couple of different screens right there. And up above of that, you'll have your heads up display where you'll see the speedometer on the glass, making it much more easier to keep an eye on the road instead of having to look down right Taking here. Take a peek at the infotainment center. Let's go ahead and put it into reverse. Now this will have rear cross traffic alerts. So if somebody's behind you walking by or driving by a little too quick, the uh, system will notify you and beep uh, just to give you a proper warning. This will come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto when you connect your phone and let's go ahead and show you just similar features to the other Mazda videos that I've shown you. Info, entertainment, communication, nav. When you pan down below, you'll have your AC vents, push start of course. This will have the heated steering wheel, heated seats for the driver and passenger, and ventilated seats, which is one of my favorite okay, features. And right below, you'll have an additional charging port. This one does have the wireless charging pad. Here's the shifter. And then the MI drive feature. So let me go ahead and show you the center gauge. So when I toggle that, you'll have a duffel, uh, couple of different drive modes. You'll have sport, normal, 
and off-road. And for the rest of the buttons, you do have your electronic parking brake, auto hold, the bigger knobs for the infotainment center, the smaller ones for the volume, and then you have a couple of different shortcut keys. You got your cup holders, and inside the center storage, you have a little cubby hole for your goods. And if you connect your USB to your phone there, you'll access your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which will prompt on your infotainment center. At the passenger side, you have your glove box with your manual. Let's take a look back at the rear seats. And up above, you got your garage buttons, sunglasses holder, a couple of different pilot lights, and then access to your moonroof. All right, now the back seat test. So the Mazda CX-5 is probably the most popular crossover in the Mazda lineup as it's nestled right between the mid-size SUV that is the CX-9 and the CX-30 crossover, which is the subcompact crossover. I got plenty of space here. You can fit pretty much two adults comfortably back here. And uh, the thing that makes it great is it's not too big like a mid-size SUV. And if you do need a little bit more space than a CX-30, this is the perfect. Here's a shot of the engine bay. And you got the Skyactiv G turbo badging right on the engine cover. Now with the turbo in the CX-5, this uh, really steps up your experience with the CX-5. I know a couple of customers in the past, they may uh, may enjoy the vehicle very much, but uh, they were craving for a little bit more horsepower. And I think Mazda did the brilliant thing of throwing the turbo in there, really alleviating any of those issues, making this crossover a, a heck of a more fun experience. Before we hit drive. the road, here's a shot of the LED lights with the blinkers. Very nice, clean, simple design. Let's check out the side. Very thin, very sleek. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the back. Pretty similar, sleek, nice, clean. Okay, so we are on the road. First things first, let's step on it. Oh man, this thing uh, has some pep. And I'm already at 60 miles an hour. Now that 2.5 turbo engine in this CX-5 really makes a difference. Uh, in the past, I've driven plenty of CX-5s with the regular 2.5 and uh, Mazda's definitely doing a service by putting that turbo in there, uh, making this, uh, this crossover just way more fun to drive. Uh, puts a little bit more pep in the step and you know, you're able to actually maneuver through highway traffic at a uh, much easier pace. You don't, you don't have to worry about the sport mode or anything like that. Now let's go ahead and talk about the uh, exterior of the car. Now the exterior, pretty much a lot hasn't really changed with the exception of maybe, uh, depending on different trim levels, the bottom portion where you would see that black plastic uh, has been painted over. Uh, for the turbo edition, the black glossy grill is something that's really eye-catching. I do like is the uh, red accents on the front grille it just makes it a little bit more uh significant that you're driving a different model and it's kind of reminiscent of like a uh, bmw m3 uh, colorway on the grill the thing that they do uh, to kind of signify their m3 series now uh, the interior the interior has been nicely done by mazda over the years they've slowly but surely tweaked the cx5 into making it a much more luxurious experience uh, the materials they use as well as the additional features that are provided and i think the turbo engine just really it complements this vehicle and uh, gets it to really where it needs to be i do like is the size of the vehicle the cx5 in this is in this perfect sweet spot and i you know that's probably what makes it the most popular vehicle in the mazda lineup and it's not the mid-size car it's not the subcompact you can drive it around downtown or especially for me downtown austin find a parking spot not struggle with parking because it's not huge but it's still spacious enough to bring me or my family members or any of my friends here there's plenty of space in the back as you can see and you're not compact you're not cr uh, crushed if you're you know a bigger person say six feet and over and last but not least the features right you got plenty of safety features here you got your blind spot your heads up display smart radar cruise control uh, smart city brake support uh, the rear cross traffic alert so this thing has plenty of safety features you know it's big enough uh, to be on the road and do things go do errands and everything like that but at the same time it's not going to be a burden I mean it's not going to be a SUV it's not going to be a pickup truck you know and it's not going to be in that spot where you feel like you're just too cramped 
So overall, I do like the CX-5 a lot. This is my preferred size crossover. All right, folks, and that's it for this quick review on the 2023 Mazda CX-5 2.5 Turbo. Once again, shout out to Roger Beasley for letting me use the vehicle. If you are in the market for a car, check out the link in the description below, or you can check out the website, rogerbeasleymazda.com. If you liked the video, give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.